breaking news here. We're following this morning a violent crash. This is in northeast Philadelphia involving a stolen car and a SEPTA bus. That stolen vehicle may be linked to other crimes in the area. Our Rakesh Bailey is live at the scene in Lawndale to walk us through a chaotic chain of events. So much to keep track of. Good morning, Wakisha. Good morning, Jan. Janelle, you know, a lot to this story, a lot of layers, but ultimately this crash involved a business owner and his car wasn't only practically totaled, but he was also robbed. Now, we want to show you what's happening right now here at the scene. Now, we're at the PNC Bank on Rising Avenue, and as you can see, this bank is just wide open. Now, the SEPTA bus still remains here on site, but we are starting to see, it looks like they're trying to actually tow the bus and remove it, and there's going to be a lot of repair work for this bank when it eventually is back up and running, but we want to get to how did we even get to all of this this morning. Now, police tell us about 1.30 this morning. When they arrived, they saw three vehicles with a significant amount of damage, including the SEPTA bus. Police believe it all started with the stolen Hyundai that was involved in several robberies last week in Northeast Philadelphia. Police say the driver of the Hyundai crashed into a minivan, which crashed into the SEPTA bus, and that crashed into the PNC bank. Now, the driver of the Hyundai then took off with a passenger in his late teens, early 20s, was taken to Einstein Hospital for head trauma. Now he's in critical condition, and the SEPTA bus driver is in his 60s. He suffered facial and head injuries, but he's expected to be okay. And he tells police there were at least three passengers on the bus who left before police arrived. Meanwhile, police say the business owner happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. The 31 year old driver is a businessman, and he had a large amount of cash in that vehicle, and we believe that someone got into that vehicle. Our real-time crime cameras, police cameras, caught someone get in that vehicle and take something and flee the scene. We believe a large amount of cash. Right now, we're still looking for the driver of that stolen vehicle who we believe got into the Volkswagen that left the scene. We're also looking for that male who may have taken some money from the minivan being operated by the 31-year-old who was trapped in the vehicle. And back out here live, as you can see, this PNC bank, the front of it is still quite the scene here. We are seeing people walk up, take pictures, because it's really remarkable to see that it's practically, like I was mentioned earlier, wide open with shattered glass, a lot of debris all over the place. Now, L and I, they have been on the scene to check if the building is structurally sound, and they do not believe that this building will collapse. Now, meanwhile, just to sum up where police are in this investigation, we're told that they are looking for the driver of that stolen Hyundai, and they're also trying to figure out who robbed this business owner? Janelle? Wow, what a story and what a mess there. Wakisha, thank you for those breaking details. We'll check back with you later.